Alrighty guys, so today we're going to be talking about four things on how to stop overreact, overthinking, excuse me, overreacting to everything. The first key thing is to how to stop overreacting to everything is that you have to start praying or meditating depending on your religion or what you believe in. You got to know that you can do all things through Christ if you're a believer like me through Christ, you accept him as a savior and you got to realize that your meditations may help you whatever that cools you down. The second thing I want to mention is Start connecting with yourself. You know, I really want to make a video about this. That's the video I'm going to make next. My next video is going to be about self-examination and how this whole summer I've just been feeling, you know, myself. But that's not going to be released till August because I want to still feel a little more self-evaluated. But generally speaking, connect with yourself. You may feel better connecting with yourself because for me, this whole summer I've been connecting with myself due to... Um, outside issues that I don't want to discuss due to reasons why I'm, you know, just mostly being by myself and just doing things alone. I mean, I still talk to my buddies and stuff, but not as much because during the summer I'm just working, working, working. I'm still relaxing, but you got to connect with yourself. And that's another thing. It doesn't always have to be work. It can just be relaxing, reading your word, everything, connecting with yourself and connecting with God. Especially if you're a Christian, connect with Jesus. Please connect with Jesus before you connect with other people. And speaking of people, the next one is you gotta start connecting with or networking with positive people and people who want the same values as you or the same career path as you. If you wanna be an entrepreneur, connect with entrepreneurs. If you wanna be a CEO, connect with CEOs. If you wanna be a financial literacy guy, connect with financial literacy people. If you wanna be a podcaster, be a podcaster. And connect with other podcasters. That's how you have to be in life. You gotta do that. I mean, there's no problem with not talking to your old buddies or however, or your girlfriends, however. But, you know, generally speaking, sometimes girls, you gotta step down from your girlfriend. Sometimes guys, you gotta step down from your buddies or the boys and just focus on yourself or network with the right people, you know, in your in your group, in your so-called career group. And this goes to everyone, including little kids who are maybe like 11 or 10, because I think of them as little kids still. Because right now, nowadays, it's just a new thing. Everybody wants to be a gamer, YouTuber. It's not for everyone, but it's for most people, or at least half of the population on this earth. Because if most people can work 9 to 5s, that's the same thing with these YouTube people working 9 to 5s. And after that, the next one is you gotta think clearly. And by thinking clearly, you need to start wearing some J Black glasses. These are the shades, Emperor shades. We're actually having a new launch that's coming very very soon which is this weekend and if you want to know more about that launch be ready save your money click that link down below and when you don't go to checkout you should automatically have my 10 percent coupon code which is brendan b15 if not it should still be down there and i'll just still have the code down there just for you to know and the last one i want to talk about because this was a very quick video but it's writing you gotta know that sometimes writing, even with gratitude, really helps you out. Like, what am I grateful for? Just write down where your goals are. Just write down what you're thinking in your head to cool you down. And eventually, as you keep doing that, your God-given gift will come in because then you'll start feeling like, wow, I feel great. I feel calm. And then another one is, which is what I'm doing right now, which is being home alone. That's the best time you connect with yourself and just relax. When your parents are gone, if you're a teenager like me, or if you're just an adult who's living alone, spend more time alone. Not too much, because we were just in a pandemic now, and we're still probably in a pandemic due to current current circumstances. But you need to spend time with yourself. Like I always say, connect with yourself. Do the best things you can do. That's all I have to say on this video. I know it was very brief. It should have not been that long, but like I said, I'm kind of, kind of just in the works a lot. Alrighty, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this wonderful video. Goodbye.